Right, uh, video number five. Uh, crack straight on. The where we were at before was uh, I was jumping around, attaching things to all sorts of, uh, you know, to the mob and to the grass and stuff, and it's probably a little bit confusing. So what I've actually done while the last video was uploading uh, is draw a picture, and I'll. Uh, I'll put that picture at the end of the video so you can uh, at least have some sort of visualisation of uh, what attaches to what. But the stage we were at is we've got our deer mob here and he's uh, got a mind which has a behaviour tree attached to it which is here. Uh, he's got a path manager which is attached to our nav, uh, nav mesh that we created earlier and he's able to smell uh, grass at a short distance so I'm going to carry on with this uh, root node and uh, I'm going to add uh, another leaf node and it's going to be a, a debug uh, stick that debug right at the top and it's just going to be debug looking for grass and the debug just outputs it to the uh, console you know uh, a message which is looking for grass uh, and when that so that, that's just going to pop up straight away to see that the behavior tree is running it's going to do a detect grass when that uh, uh, succeeds. It's going to be. It's going to set a variable. What actually happens is when it uh, when it detects the grass, this, the variable that is defined here get uh, is loaded with all the attributes of that uh, aspect which include its uh, position in the world so I'm going to put call this uh, variable grass underscore lock for location so when it detects that it's going to load the grass's location into there and then it's going to do a debug saying I've, uh, I smell grass and then the move to grass the move target is going to be control C to copy a variable grass lock so then it's going to move to the grass and uh, which will take a little bit of time the move speed is one that sort of tripped me up a little bit here is the move speed is uh, set to zero so it doesn't move and you think you've got something set wrong I'm going to set to 25 I'm going to set the base speed to 5 so I don't want it uh, messing around or hanging around uh, so it's going to move to the grass and it's going to arrive at the grass so I'm, I'm going to create another uh, right click and create another leaf node uh, assign and this assigns a value to a variable uh, and I'm going to call my variable not x, I'm going to call it at underscore grass equals 1 so at grass the variables get set to 1 when it gets to the gra grass so up here right in the root node and this, will ch this is going to change I'm going to put a precondition which is uh, this variable at grass so it's only going to do this if at grass equals equals because you're not uh, the difference between equals and equals and equals is well, if you have one it's assigning the value to it so if I just did one equals it would just say at grass equals zero whereas now I'm sort of asking the question is it equals zero with two when this behavior tree runs it's going to say is that zero and it is because it hasn't been run before and then it's going to look for grass detect the grass 
tell us it's detected the grass, move to the grass, and when it gets to the grass, you're going to set it to one, and then it all stops. So it's done its job. In theory, let's run it and see what happens. And it doesn't find, it doesn't do anything. So let's have a look at the console. It says, looking for grass, looking for grass, looking for grass. I smell grass, it found grass. Right, I uh, basically just redid the uh, recast. I just refreshed the recast and it uh, started working in, in a fashion. Uh, I'll run it and show you what happens. It finds the grass and goes towards it. Only it goes towards it sideways. Uh, and I think that is uh, basically uh, when I made the deer I uh, I made it at sort of 90 degrees so all I'm going to do is uh, make it like this that's how I should have done it before how is that's bigger than me uh, but and it's obviously seems to have blown up the obstacle collider thing so I'm going to shrink that back down we'll probably have to do something with that at some point but uh, for now uh, it was quite small uh, let's just stick it in there so now it's just we just had its head in the wrong place effectively so uh if we run it now its head should just do something are we gonna go stop right so it looks like when i've resized this object it's gone and uh changed its It, it sort of sensor's going to be uh, yeah look it's made the sensor sort of long and thin which is a bit odd so look at this size uh, right which is a pain in the bum uh, I believe it's done that it's made a it's obviously screwed up it, it's uh Oh, oh, factory sensor. I'm just going to delete that and add a new one to it. Rain sensor. Oh, factory. It's all good practice. Uh, and it's a smell one. Sensation. Smell. I think they'll just do it. Let's cook it and see. Yeah, and off it goes. Bang, straight to the uh so that works it detects it and finds it i'm gonna chop this video here uh because i want to uh i want to experiment with uh, uh putting this in various places on our terrain and seeing how it copes with uh, pathfinding so i'll put that uh picture up at the end of the video and i'll catch you in the next one which should be the last one for this week Catch you in a minute.